go pick up my friend Justine's birthday gift. I of course went to Indigo because where else would I go get a gift for anyone? She moved in with her boyfriend this year. So I feel like I wanted to get her something that was a little bit more adult, something that she can have in her home. So I got her an amber decanter. I'll include a clip here or a picture of what it looks like, but it's beautiful. And then I also got her matching glasses. These are low ball glasses. I actually love these so much. I'm considering getting uh, the low ball ones and the tall ones for my own kitchen because I have had some of my glasses break. So I've been in my head thinking I need to get a new set. My AC is going, I'm gonna go shut it off so that it's not annoying. I think that's such a cute gift idea. I mean, like I'm giving her a gift receipt too in case it's not her style or she wants something else for her home or she already has something like this. But um, I, I feel like that is a fun adulty thing to get. We're actually heading tonight to Justine's place to celebrate her birthday. And Maddie's gonna be there, Andrea's gonna be there. If you're new to the vlog, Andrea used to be my roommate in this apartment and she's still one of my best friends so I haven't seen her in a bit and I'm really looking forward to to seeing her and hanging out as a group. We haven't done that in a little bit. I also stopped by Nespresso because they just came out with pumpkin spice cake pods and obviously that feels really fitting for the fall. I got these last year and really liked them so I just got two sleeves and a couple other sleeves of some coffees I like. I got a package from Shoppers to open up. I gotta admit this was like I think $140 or something I spent at Shoppers and this is how small the box is. It is tiny. I had to get another container of my translucent powder from Laura Mercier. Why is this not focusing? Hello? There we go. And it came with a gift with purchase. This teeny tiny, teeny tiny Laura Mercier powder. I've got the Ginseng Oil Free Moisturizer from Origins. This is a classic one that I use for daytime moisturizing. My concealer of choice. I also picked up the Versed Vacation Eyes Brightening Eye Gel. I need a new eye cream and this one was on sale so I figured I'd give it a shot. I do have to say though to my Canadian peeps, if you aren't being smart with Shoppers Optimum part points, what are you doing? Because there's so much great deals to take advantage of. Like I talked about how this kind of spent, or I spent like 140 something dollars on this, but because I ordered it online during a special promo, I also got 40,000 points with this order, which is $40 worth of points. So really, I got all of this for like 100 bucks, which is awesome considering that things like the Laura Mercier powder, I never find on sale. Same with the Origins Ginseng Moisturizer. This is not something that really goes on sale. Please do not sleep on shoppers. I can't stop talking about their point system to my friends because I want them all to be making great decisions with where they spend their dollars. And you're my friend, so I want you to get the deals too. I also put in an order for Amazon and I got an Apple watch band from, I don't know what seller it was. I'll include a link to it below. I have a fake leather band that I got from Amazon that I really like, but I wanted something that looked a little bit dressier. So I feel like a nice gold watch is a beautiful statement piece. We'll see how it ends up looking. I also stopped in at Zara and Aritzia just to see if they had anything interesting for the fall. I'm kind of in the hunt for a couple pieces. And just to kind of reiterate how hard it is to buy jeans. I was trying on these mom jeans from Zara and I brought two sizes into the change room. One, one size and then one size up just in case like one was too small or one was too big, whatever. The size that was smaller could not get over my butt and hips. Like it was not happening. I was, I was trying and I was like, this is no shimmying is gonna get this on. And then I obviously put on the size larger because I was like, maybe I just need to upgrade. And it got over my hips and butt, that wasn't the problem. But my waist had, again, a perimeter of fabric. I feel like when I was younger, I would have like gone through that experience in the change room and been like, oh my goodness, like felt a lot of shame towards my body because of that. Because why am I not fitting in these jeans that like a lot of people love? I don't know if it's just like age or just getting a little bit more kinder with my body. But now I'm able to kind of like see, okay, just because these jeans aren't fitting me, doesn't mean that there's anything wrong with me. It just means that this is catered to a different body type. And I need to look for jeans from companies that maybe cater to my body type more than 
this one because obviously if you don't have many hips or anything those jeans would probably be great so it's great that that option is out there but i i am not in that situation so i need to always uh keep on the lookout but i'm glad i did try them because zara has been on my list of jean places to try but now i know probably won't have much luck i mean i'll try i'll try on some different styles from them on other days but wasn't working today <laughs> and you can't see it right now but there's like bags and boxes open i gotta get rid of this andrea's gonna be here in oh my goodness like two hours i need to go do a little bit of work before she gets here i've been so thrilled in my life it really is spectacular wow right? love it peak <laughs> this is a peak moment for me. 24! 24! 24! Do you want to do uh, yours? I, I think it's still up. setting before the start of a new week. I've got dinner in the oven. I made homemade pizza. Didn't forget the cheese this time. If you know, you know. I'm currently reading Take a Hint, Danny Brown by Talia Hibbert. It's the second installment in her rom-com series. This one's quite funny, um, so I'm really enjoying it so far. One thing I did do though today that I'm pumped about is I booked a hair appointment to get my hair cut and just, um, I think I'm gonna do balayage again that's what i did two years ago and i really like how easy it is to maintain because balayage as it grows out you don't need to kind of keep up with it i usually have my aunt do my hair and she does a great job but she's in my hometown so i feel like i just need someone that i can go to in the city so that i'm not waiting so long in between cuts okay i'm gonna go read now while my dinner cooks in the oven i'm just covered in fabric don't I look cozy though? The other day I saw a TikTok of a recipe that I can't stop thinking about. It's essentially roasted butternut squash sauce for your pasta. I am mesmerized by it. I must try it. Tonight is the night. I did have to look up a graphic on how to cut butternut squash because I've never done that before. It smells very uh, melony. I need a bowl and I need it stacked. I'm wrapping my garlic in tin foil. As the video says. There's my garlic. There's the butternut squash. It doesn't look as great as his pan does, but we're just gonna put it in. Essentially what I'm gonna do now is add the squash and the garlic to this pasta water. I have some more pasta water if I need it. And blend it up. focus on 
that, we're gonna focus on the dish. I added some Parmesan. I was supposed to add Asiago. I've done a lot of substitutions today. Really, if this isn't good, it's not the recipe's fault. It's, it's me for thinking that I am Gordon Ramsay or something. Oh, it's actually really nice. I feel like I could have gone heavier with the garlic. What I might do next time is even just roast onion, roast a red pepper and throw it in there. See what the Vitamix does. hours and I'm both excited to have my hair healthy again and chopped and also to get it recolored but I'm I'm also nervous I do not know why there's no reason to be nervous here I'm making some eggs because the appointment I think I'm gonna be in there for like four hours four or five hours I don't know that's what they say oh so anyways I'm just making some food so that I don't starve while I'm in that chair but I know there's no reason to be nervous it's just it's just hair it's gonna be okay. This is what my hair looks like natural after I washed it last night and I slept on it. So it's gone down a little bit in poofiness. Come here, darlings. It is 9.30 in the morning on upload day and I have reviewed the video. I've done timestamps for the video, thumbnail, everything for the video is done because I have to be out of the house and I won't be able to do it later today, closer to 3 p.m. when I have to upload. But if this were a day where I was just at home working, I'm sure I would have taken way longer to do all this stuff. Like I'm just baffled by like how quickly I've gotten through this checklist that typically is like a bigger chunk of my day. I don't understand. It brings me back to like school days when you would have an assignment, a big assignment that's due like in 48 hours and you're like, oh my goodness, I haven't even started it and somehow you get it done. Some other being possesses you and you're like, ba 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 ba. <laughs> that's what I feel like just happened today. guys are you ready to see the final results of the haircut <sighs> look here I got um, it's curled right now so it looks like I got a good chunk chopped off definitely needed a freshen up and also like just something different I feel like I've been rocking my dark brunette for the past year and I'm just kind of ready for something crazier I went with a cool toned which I really like because usually when I've done balayage in the past, it's been a lot warmer. And I, I like the look, but I just wanted something um, that would be a bit different. Get up immediately when you're experiencing hunger. Ooh, play your Available. Share link, add silence, join request. <laughs> just doing some plant maintenance and I noticed my aloe plant which is massive by the way I've named her Ursula because she's starting to look pretty octopusy she's tilting over so I'm gonna put a stick in her and hopefully that helps oh that was easy okay look at how big she is it's insane 